Help protect Ciri from the Wild Hunt, and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What a Fringilla. That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You barely said hello and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. I hear right. You convince the Emperor to pardon them? Provided they help us defend Ciri. Hmm. Got a hard time believing Emperor would go in for a deal like that. If you can't believe it, don't. I don't need you to. Bit about Frangilla. What was that? Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. Hmm. Take it the Emperor forgot to tell you about this. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come. They're all waiting for us. All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Anchors away. The King of the Wild Hunt sailed aboard the Nagel Fair, a giant longship that traveled between worlds. As Gels had advised, the Witcher set out to find the Sunstone, an artifact needed to draw Aerodin into a trap. That settles the question of his Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows. Those are my friends. He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. There is an upside to all this. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skelliger after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the NL. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Gelban and Dillion of the White Fleet? What I want to know is if we'll be able to use the Sunstone. You? No. Me? Naturally. With a touch of help from the sorceresses. 
Of whom some are below deck vomiting, while others remain unreachable. Talus, please. Absolutely love elven legends. Gelban was a sage of the Elder Elves. He fell in love with an Enshe elf, Dillian. Yet she spurned him. Ahem. <laughs> that was a jest on Geralt's part. Too late. It won't hurt any of you to know this. On the day the White Fleet was to set sail, Gelban gave Dillian a gift. The Sunstone. He believed Dillian's heart would soften in time. Once her longing for him burgeoned, she was to use the Sunstone. Though worlds away, he would return for her. Sounds promising. Let's just hope this Sunstone proves more useful to us than it did to that elf woman. The Sunstones in Skellige? How do we know that? From legends. Elven ones. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermion. I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Croc's longships are moored there. Can you teleport me onto Amir's ship? Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. Think they know we're here? Amir's mages? Of course. If the matter of Fringilla Vigo were resolved, they'd probably just send her over here in a skiff. It's far from resolved. The Emperor pledged to ensure the Lodge's safety, but- Fringilla's a pricklier matter. She's his subject. One officially sentenced to death for treason. You'll need to learn what Amir has planned for her, once we've found a way to toss you over to the Imperial flagship. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. A plan to swim? With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, show His Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised, and what he'll get in return. I'm off. Good luck. I never doubted you would. But why did you? You might have just asked me. To hear you reveal all about your experiments with the Elder Blood gene? Unlike. I've hidden nothing that could be useful in our struggle against Eredin. As regards the Elder Blood, you're all aware Ciri is exceptional. I am alone only in knowing to what extent. Or maybe you're just obsessed with her. I'm obsessed. Yes, Geralt? Margarita any better? I managed to accelerate tissue regeneration. She's feeling much better. In fact, we must bring Erid in here as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'm afraid these sorceresses of yours will start fighting amongst themselves. Went by your laboratory. I trust you did not make a mess. Didn't mention you were the NL Elves' chief source of knowledge about Ciri's abilities. I didn't mention many things. Fortunately, they're no longer important. Your experiments with the gene, Elder Blood, that's not important. I pursued those studies to protect Ciri. To protect Lara Doran's blood in whomever's veins it courses. Ran into someone at your lab. Did you know? Mm hmm. A she elf. Claimed you hate Siri. So, how's that fit you trying to protect her, whatever the cost? Not at all. You don't really expect me to confess my feelings to you, do you? Once we use the Sunstone, what makes you think Aridin won't figure things out? 
I doubt he'll think the elves of the White Fleet suddenly long to see him. We can alter the signal emitted by the Sunstar. Unlikely Eredin will recognize its origin. It's not the only artifact to possess this power. There are others. Great. Now mind telling me why I had to scour Skellige looking for this one? The Sunstone was the easiest to find, believe me. From the look of things, pretty soon Ciri won't need your help anymore. Nor yours. True. She'll do whatever she wants, and I'll support her. What about you? Ready to let her live her own life? I shan't force her to do anything if that's your question. Charming world you and Elle have got. Could easily fall in love with the place. Tell me, how do you do it? Sit around playing flute, painting rutting unicorns and gorgeous landscapes, building ornately sculpted towers? And then you murder us, without batting an eye, without a hint of guilt. How? Do you humans feel guilt when you murder Enshe elves? Or dwarves? Or dryads? We are the same. Simply because we both firmly believe others are inferior. Tell me something more about Caranthir. Know him well? Know him? I reared him. Raised, don't you mean? No, Geralt. I began shaping him long before he was born. For centuries, I brought together pairs of elves manifesting certain abilities, those able to manipulate time and space. He is the result of these efforts. Caranthia, a golden child. Golden child who grew up to be a criminal. You imprisoned Ciri the first time you met her. Now you protect her while fighting against your own kind. Quite an about face. First of all, I did not imprison her. She found me. It was her destiny. Yeah, sure. Get to the second of all. Why are you helping her? Because she is a danger. A mortal one. You look at her and see a human. A ward. A daughter, even. I look and see the Elder Blood. A power that can destroy the world. A power that must be kept from Eredin's power-addled hands at all costs. Admittedly, our motives differ. Yet in spite of that, we share a goal. So you would be wise to trust me, or at least try. We found the Sunstone. Gelban's gift to Dillion of the White Fleet. As legend has it, she never used the stone, and Gelban died of sorrow. Won't keep Eredin waiting that long. It seems we've everything. We can go. Keep in mind, once we commit, there'll be no returning. I'm ready. High time we set sail. Undvik awaits. In that case, let's go.